Hi, I'm Candace Kane, and you're in my home, you're in my world, and you're in my life. Welcome to it. Oh. I, I would really have to um, say I have uh, quite a few inspirations. Um, first and foremost, my parents inspire me more than anybody. Um, they're amazing, and ever since I was a child, they've nurtured me and protected me and um, made me feel like I was a wonderful person. People like Sophia Loren, um, I was always a part of my Italian roots and I really always felt a part of that. And uh, she was a beautiful Italian goddess and, and I always, you know, always loved to watch her and, and see her and she inspired me. And there's people like Sid Charisse, I remember seeing my very first movie. Um, singing in the Rain, my parents uh, showed me that. And I remember seeing Sid Charisse for the first time and I just fell in love with her. I was just, I was, my breath was taken, taken away and I wanted to be just like her. <laughs> and so um, I, I think that um, those are some people. Um, fiery kind of Anne Margaret spirit I love and uh, the um, intelligence of Katharine Hepburn there's all these amazing people that are just rolled into one Marilyn Monroe of course for just the way she could just look at anybody and melt them stuff like that I've just been inspired my whole life by those types of women well, I'm from Maui, Hawaii. I was raised there. I lived a little bit in California. Um, my parents moved to Maui and uh, as teachers at a Waldorf school, and that's where I was raised, on campus in a little creative private school. I moved to um, Los Angeles directly out of high school for um, a few months and uh, got a job on this on a cruise ship for a few months and uh, I did that to raise money so I could move to New York because I knew I always wanted to be in New York and as soon as I got here I I uh, got a job waiting tables and uh, I got a scholarship to Steps it's a dance studio and uh, I studied dance for a long time and that's all I wanted to do that's all I wanted to be and then I got involved in Wigstock and with Boy Bar and I started doing shows there and I realized how happy I was when I was on stage in front of that, that audience. Well, I, um, I've done some shows for some designers. I enjoy it a lot. I love modeling for different clothes and, and, uh, um, I enjoy it. <laughs> My modeling more is of uh, glamour modeling uh, rather than serious fashion modeling. I'm a curvy girl and they don't like curvy. They like toothpick. <laughs> so um, I don't do that much modeling. And uh, I've been doing a lot of musical theater and I've been doing a lot of plays and, and acting, and that's where my love lies, is acting and dancing. Well, when I moved to New York, I um, suddenly felt home. I felt like it was a place that I belonged. I um, started performing, and I started meeting some of the most amazing people anybody could ever meet. I have met more friends here that are just true friends because a lot of them have gone through the things that I've gone through that it was easy for me to start my transition and uh, um, I've had really no problem um, transitioning I started about six years ago um, I had a little vision in my vanity so to speak I know it sounds a little kooky but um, I kind of saw this aura around me it was late at night and I had I was kind of depressed and, and um, I just didn't feel very happy and, and I looked at myself and I said I want to grow old as a woman, not a man. 
and it just was like a vision around me and I was like that's what it is that's what's missing in my life and um, the next day I went and uh, did a shot of hormones and uh, I started my transition and really as soon as I did that um, my life got easier not harder and I'm so much happier this way I've had no problems with any of my family with any of my friends um, at this point there's no one on this earth that doesn't know and that hasn't accepted who I am because I've never changed who I am I've just changed physically how I look my first big film was Tu Wong Fu I actually was hired as assistant choreographer for that um, I uh, got it because they told me that I couldn't be in the movie because I would have won the pageant. <laughs> Go figure. Um, and so I got that uh, gig and I helped choreograph and I was in the little ending scene. And from that, um, I was hired to do Stonewall and choreograph Stonewall. And so uh, it got a group of... of um, movies and, and commercials and stuff from that. It kind of rolled my way. And uh, then actually when I started transitioning, my work in that field kind of stopped because I um, was between genders <laughs> and people didn't understand it. I didn't look like a drag queen and, and uh, they weren't uh, ready to hire a transsexual for female parts. So um, I'm still kind of blazing my way through and, and uh, I'm trying to set precedents wherever I go. Um, and hopefully one of these days it's going to work. I started my singing career, so that's where I am ending up with this. I, I did a pageant actually called Miss Continental and um, I won. It's a national pageant for transgendered people. and. Uh, I um, sang and danced and I won that pageant and it kind of got me going. It started think made it really made me think about different things in my life and what I really wanted and uh, I um, enjoy singing a lot and so I started uh, writing music and writing some dance music and so um, currently that's my main focus is um, singing and dance music. Well, um, I've also done some ind independent film and uh, some musicals with theater couture. I did a bunch of plays, and I did a uh, independent film called Mob Queen, um, where I starred as the um, ingenue, which was a which was a lot of fun. It really gave me a a good taste for um, real film, so I enjoyed it very much. Yeah! Ooh. <laughs> I have to go get ready for my show tonight. I do a show at Barracuda. Um, I've been doing the show for almost five years now. And it's quite a long time. And Every week the audience picks who they want me to do the next week. And this week they're having me do Janet Jackson <laughs> and Pat Benatar. And uh, I went to the dentist today and had a little procedure done. So I'm on Vicodin. <laughs> this is going to be a fun, fun show. <laughs>